Hi, my name's Mitz, and I'm going to show you how to add annotations to your um, video on YouTube. So, if you've got videos that you post up on YouTube, what you've got to do is sign in. And this is my name here, Computer Basics. So go to your name up there, and then go to that little arrow there, and go to My Videos. Okay? So now you get a whole list of your videos coming up. So you can scroll down and choose which one you want. Now what I'm going to do is just go straight to annotations here and press on that. Okay, so what it's going to do now is um, bring up the video and also it's going to start playing the video. Now, okay, today I'm going to show you how to find a path to a file. Or I'm just going to pause that. Now, at any time along when the video is playing, I can press on this. It says add annotation. So we'll just quickly add one now just to show you how to do it. Now, what I've done is I've pressed on add annotation, and now it says I can add a speech bubble, a note, or add a spotlight. Okay, so what I'm going to do is add a note. Okay, so I've pressed on add a note. Now, here is my choices. Um, I can change the text quite easy. Just quickly go like this. Um, see more great videos here. Okay. And now, actually, that is just text at the moment, but I can make it a link. Now, what I do is I press on link. Now, this is what I can link to. I can't write my own link in, okay? But I can choose these things. Right, I can go to YouTube search query, uh, video response, group. Um, what I'm going to do is take it to my channel, okay? I'm going to press on channel. Now I've got to type in the channel name. And it was computer basics. B A S I C basics. Right. And if I'm not sure whether it's actually going to take it to my channel, I can press preview link. Now, as soon as I press that, it will open the link that I've told it to. But I know that's right, so I'm just going to go and save it. So press save. Now what happens is this text here is going to be the link now. Also I can go to here and I can press on this and change the colour just to make it stand out a bit more. At the moment it's on the grey so I'm going to put red. Okay. Um, or I can just change it to anything I like. Right, but I, in this one I think red stands out. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I just need to save it. So what I'm going to do is go over here. Actually, I'll just move this window out the way. Sorry about that. There we go. Now, um, what we want to do, it's just next to the video here, over here, it says publish. Now that's what we're going to do. But before we do that, we can see um, the details of what I've just created. See more great videos here. Now this is what time it starts in the video and this is what time it finishes. Now I can quickly change that here. Uh, just so I want to uh, move it forward a bit. I'll just go like that. And it's only going for not even a second at the moment. So what I'm going to do is change this. Okay, so now it's actually going for 10 seconds. Okay. Now you can leave it there the whole time if you want to, um, in the corner or wherever. Um, it's up to you. I like to just flash one on the screen every now and then. Um, it's probably best to put a link to your channel at the end of the videos, because uh, you want the people to watch the video first, but I'm just using this as an example. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just press save. Okay saved and now we're just going to publish it okay and then it comes up over the video 
and it says published okay now on here that is actually where the annotation is and that's how long it is going to go for now I can I showed you how to adjust the time over there but we can do it here as well just dragging these along bring that one up there we go okay we can take it down a bit right to the start you can just do whatever you want with it all right um, thanks for watching I hope that helps you add some annotations into your YouTube videos